All right, welcome back to LearnWire. Now, this is uh, today's topic, uh, Pepper Type versus Word Hero. This was the top ranked uh, poll question that I asked a few days ago, and I'm glad that I'm able to bring this to you because I wasn't going to create this content until I actually had the note feature um, available to me uh, inside of Pepper Type. Um, that's actually interesting. I think I pushed clear a second ago, and it does come back or something. I don't know. But uh, anyway, so I'm really excited to bring this video to you. We're going to be doing some testing. Let me open up my notepad real quick. So I have a couple of different things, right? So pepper type versus word hero. Here we go. We've got, uh, we're going to test the ADA. Um, and then we're going to, uh, this is a uh, marketing framework. And then we're going to uh, test blog topics. We're going to test uh, cold email. We're gonna test uh, Quora answers uh, and then long form content. Um, obviously they each have a ton of modules and so we can't test them all, but I'm gonna test some of the ones that I, I believe are the most popular um, today. And then we'll, I'll try to speed through um, as fast as I can with these ones here. So then we can spend most of our time on the long form content. I will try to leave uh, a table of contents below some time stamps. That way, if you're just interested in the long form content, you can skip to it. Uh, but this stuff right here will be interesting as well, because uh, while I can already tell you that Word Hero is uh, ro more robust and has way more modules, um, we're going to be testing quality as well. Okay. So you do want to uh, stick around and watch the entire video. We're going to stick with pretty much the same topic, uh, pretty generic. It'll be a weight loss type topic just so we can kind of see um, how well the tools do with a medium size or a medium difficulty topic. Um, we'll take, we'll pick uh, lose weight, but it'll be a little bit more specific than lose weight. <clears throat> and then we will just kind of cruise through here. So let's start off with uh, pepper type and ADA. So we'll come over here to the copywriting section over here and we'll go find it. And I'm going to click on it over here. And then we have a topic right here, how to lose weight and gain muscle. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that, come back over to pepper type. And I'm just going to throw that in here and then tell us about your product. Um, and let's just say, uh, we could leave that in right now, but we could just say that this is a, um, an ebook about how to lose weight and gain muscle. Okay. Um, so we're going to go like that just so we don't lose our space. And then we have some advanced options here. Um, people that want You don't have to fill this out. We're going to say, um, so this is going to be like a promotion. Okay. So 25% off and uh, content creation. Let's click that real quick. All right. So we have attention. Are you frustrated that your weight loss isn't going well? The interest is lose weight and gain muscle without risking your health or money. Get 25% off by downloading it. Now go to the site to download your copy. I'm going to come down here and look at a little bit more content. So there are so many people who are trying to lose fat and gain muscle, but aren't having success. Um, they don't know which products or techniques will work for them. They try one thing and then another hoping to find the right solution. Uh, wouldn't it be nice if there was a way that you could uh, get expert advice that would help you understand what is best for you, learn how to lose weight and gain muscle quickly and easily buy it now for $39.99. Obviously you just copy that you change the price to what the price is, um, does pretty good. If you don't want to if uh, make it more, this is very, um, action oriented sales based. If we took out the if we went to edit details and took out the 25% off, um, and the target audience and stuff, um, it would write maybe more of a generic, but you can use this. Um, I think the, the quality was, was pretty high and you could use this in your emails or for a landing page. If you're trying to sell a product, um, all kinds of different ways that you could use this. Okay. So let's go into word hero now, and this is the way I'm going to do this. I'm not going to do all of them in one. I'm going to actually do one thing and then go to the other. That way you can really do kind of like a side by side comparison. So well, we'll go back over here to uh, right here. The very first one is the ADA copywriting formula. And I'm going to go in here and let's go product name and a short description, the exact same uh, description that we used and write for me. Now notice in both programs, uh, this has been some of your guys' uh, complaints. We're not able to choose how many results we want um, from each one. I'm going to go back over here um, with pepper type and 
it really gives you about three, I believe. And then right over here with uh, Word Hero, we've got one, two, three. Okay, so if we get three, and we can go and grab more if we wanted to. Uh, you also get three right here, but I do like on PepperType where you get the create more outputs, and then they would actually show up underneath here. Um, but over here, we're going to test it out in uh, Word Hero. But right here, the diet plan that actually works. Stop wasting your time on in ineffective diets and start burning fat today. Make the diet that works for you. Download the ebook today. So I like how it came back to the ebook. That's cool. Um, not a lot of content. So uh, Pepper Type is, it seems like it's creating just a little bit more content um, on the one that we did before, right? Um, I do want to say right for me one more time. We got, we had those three there, but it looks like it resets it, right? So that's uh, something uh, I would mark it down. A, 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 I would just kind of say that that pepper type wins uh, when it comes to just um, um, leaving the ability to write more. So if we create more content here in pepper type, um, we have one, two, three right here. And then look, four, five, six. So it just keeps coming on average they are producing about the same amount of content but for my eyes it looks like uh pepper type is a little bit more robust with the sentence structure they're adding more components in the writing so it's kind of just a little bit more content and word hero but it does sound good um but remember if you push the write more button you're going to get three new ones you're not going to get to keep the other three that you just had so i would dock um word hero on that a little bit they should be able to add more on the bottom so you can keep them right um, i do like that you can left click right here and just copy uh, that's pretty cool so that's the ada feature right there um, I, I would say they're both pretty similar but um because the content uh, seemed a little bit higher um as far as word count and it was on point uh, in pepper type. And then the fact that you can say write more and all you have access to all of them uh, right here, I would say, um, and I don't know if I'm gonna do this point based, but I would say um, that I would give uh, pepper type um, the edge on this one. Uh, so we're gonna go to blog topics now, okay? So blog topics, and we're gonna go and do stick with the same topic, okay? So we're gonna go back to home and we're inside of pepper type. We're gonna go to blog ideas is what it's called here. We're going to throw that in right there. We're going to throw in our uh, description, how to lose weight. Um, and then this one's going to be a blog post about the top ways to lose weight and gain muscle. Let me uh, copy this and put it in my notepad over here so we can use that going forward so we don't lose our placeholder. We're going to say create content right here. Looks like pepper type has also looking for a blog image, um, experts. Okay. So they're just trying to sell services over there. All right. So we have some one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. And I think that this is considered short form content. So any of the lifetime deals, um, this would not count towards your, um, amount of character usage. Um, I, I wouldn't think that they would have 10 results. Actually, it looks like there's 13 results here. Um, and then count that against you, right? You, um, if they were going to do that, they would need to allow you to control the amount of output. So uh, you're getting a lot over here. Why you should start your workout routine with a muscle workout routine. Eight tips to achieve better muscle growth and weight lifting a blog to help readers achieve better uh, muscle growth. I like how it's taking some of them are going to be about lifting weights. Some are going to be about three tips on how to lose weight fast, a blog discussion tips to lose weight fast. So it took um, lose weight and gain muscle kind of um, separately. Um, and right now we're not really looking at one that's including both, but that's okay. Uh, we just, oh, here's one, the best ways to lose weight and gain muscle, a blog post about the top ways. So that one's cool. I'm going to actually save that one. We're going to go into, so overall, I'm pretty satisfied with the, the results that Pepper Type's uh, coming out with. And I'm going to go over to Word Hero now, exit out of there and um, blog, I mean, sorry, writing tools. Where is it at? Not seeing it there. Just going to go to all not a blog intro blog headlines so you have blog topics and blog headlines uh let's select uh, which one to choose 
attention grabbing headline. So that's literally like a title, not sure what to write about. So this would be more about blog topics right here. Okay. So how to lose weight and gain muscle. One feature I like it, it kept what we did last right there. So I'm going to say right for me. That's pretty cool. And that was pretty fast. Uh, so we've got lose weight, losing weight and gaining muscle doesn't have to be a difficult process. Um, here are five tips that can help you achieve your goals. That's really not like a blog topic. I mean, achieve your goals for what, right? We need to lose weight and gain muscle in there. Make sure you're eating the right foods and getting enough exercise, lose weight and gain muscle with these top tips. Um, that one's decent. Lose weight and gain muscle with these top tips, how to lose weight and gain muscle simultaneously. Um, that one's pretty good. Don't sacrifice one for the other, lose weight and gain muscle. So um, overall, you're going to get one, two, three, four, five, six. You're getting six versus the 13 pepper type came up with. You also, if you push write me, write more, it's just going to get rid of these and it's going to give you more. But at the end of the day, yes, there are um, probably two out of the um, six here that I could probably use potentially. Um, but I would, unfortunately, I mean, I, cause I don't, I'm not being biased in any way, right? I like, I own both of these tools. I love both these tools, but so far, um, what I'm seeing pepper type wins on this one as well. They're just giving a lot more listicle style posts right here. They've can, they've given you a couple that combine lose weight and gain muscle, right? Top ways. But then they also have some that are just about losing weight and some about just losing, um, or gaining muscle. Um, so they've just did a lot more research and gave us a lot more examples. So, um, you know, I mean, definitely get engaged with this video. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if any of you are owners of both and which one you like better as well. But, um, so far, even just with this test right here, I'd have to go with pepper type wins. So I'm going to go over here and just say PT wins on that one. So let's go and keep moving on to a uh, cold email. So we just go back up here to home and go to, um, social media. Maybe where is email? Okay. So copywriting and, uh, which one are we doing? Cold email. Okay. So cold email product name. Let's come back over here, grab our name and tell us about the product. And we're going to, I guess we're going to say it's an ebook cause it's a cold email in this uh, case, right? And then who is sending the email? So we'll just say some advanced option agenda of the email um, to sell the uh, diet or uh, the weight loss and muscle building. Uh, and then we're going to push create content. While that's loading, we're going to go over to word hero and find emails. I'm just going to type in email up here, generic emails. Um, so there's different options, cold emails, but let's stick. And then you have welcome emails. That's cool to your new subscribers to a list. Let's go with cold emails and keep it the same. And we've got this right an email for me. So while it's doing that, we'll go back to pepper type. Hi, first name. I don't know if you've been looking for some fitness advice. I know that fitness is a huge part of life and not many people really know their way around the gym. If you don't know how to work out and what to work out, um, you might as well be wasting your time. I created a free guide on how to lose weight and gain muscle recently, just because it's a pretty new guide that I want to share with my readers. You can find it here. Okay. So that one's pretty robust and looks pretty good. Then we have, all right. So it gave us two outputs. Um, as we spend more and more time at our desks, we tend to accumulate more and more fat and less and less muscle. Thanks to the combination of inactivity and poor diet, you may have watched the number on the scale creep upwards while the size of your clothes has gone down. Um, your size of your clothes has gone down. Uh, yeah, that would actually be need to be rephrased right there, right? Um, because the size of your clothes would go up as well. I've been there before. Um, in this book, I share my personal journey of losing more than 60 pounds and you would just change that, right? And uh, to how many pounds you want to put it might be a hundred pounds and how you can do, uh, so this book is called boom. So it literally puts it in brackets too. So overall, this is really, really good. I really like this email production here. You can create more outputs by clicking that and you're going to be able to see more and more options overall. Really, really good. Let's go see word hero. Hello. 
uh, name or recipient. Thank you if you're interested in our ebook about how to lose weight and gain muscle. We um, appreciate your enthusiasm and are happy to provide you with more information. So this is supposed to be a cold email. So really, uh, we shouldn't be uh, kind of stating that they're interested because they, they're, they're, they're not interested. We're actually reaching out to them, right? So that, that's a little weird. Our ebook is a comprehensive guide that covers everything from diet and exercise to supplementation and motivation. It's been designed to help uh, people. All right. So I'm going to try not to read everything for you guys, um, but I'm a, you guys can pause and read. So overall, this is more like this. Is, these are almost like welcome emails because it's like congratulations on your decision to start working. But really, this is supposed to be a cold email. So they wouldn't really be we, we wouldn't have a relationship with them yet. Right. So, oh, man, I'm just um, I know you, some of you are probably following along with me. And uh, and so far, just with the just the modules themselves, I'm a little well, I'm not necessarily disappointed with Word Hero, but Pepper Type, um, Pepper Type wins again. It's just a well-formatted, structured email. I mean, we can create more. We can come through here and create more. I mean, I really want to give us the best test possible. And so we have one, two, and then they just gave us two more. And then right here, they break out into some bullets, a newbie's guide to losing weight and gaining muscle, hundred plus pages of secrets revealed over eight chapters, including building a proper diet, getting the right workout. Uh, let's talk David. Boom. They even included my name right there. Super cool. They even put my name right there. So, I mean, overall, just the feel of this one, I think is better than uh, word hero. Uh, there's a call to action right here. That's cool. So they gave us some new ones. Thank you for your interest. Um, I mean, so here's a good one. I'm e emailing you because I saw that you're interested. No, nope, we're not interested. It's a cold email, but either way, I would just have to say that, um, oh, we're just going to move on. You guys can, um, call it the way you want to. I'm going to say pepper type wins on that one. We're going to go to Cora answers. Now let's go to pepper type, go back to home and Cora answers. And we're going to say product project name. We're going to do this exact same thing. We're going to throw it over here. And the question is what we'd actually do. Here's some different questions that need answered. How do I lose weight without doing exercise? How do I motivate myself to lose weight? We'll just click on that one. How do I motivate myself to lose weight? So I'm going to grab that question. Here's how you would use the tool. You come back over here to pepper type and we would throw uh, this in here advanced options, things to include in the answer. You can actually add those if you wanted to. That's super cool. Uh, and create content. We're going to go over to word hero. We're going to go to all actually, um, there we go. Core answers. Click on that. And we're going to put the question in here and push it right for me. We're going to go back to pepper type. All right. So we have our answers over here. So we have first thing is to look at uh, the reasons why you are overweight. I know it is hard to admit, but it, it is the first step towards your success. If you hate the way you look, then the first thing to do is to look for a way to change your body. <clears throat> I'm not saying that it's a uh, that's a good thing to do, but the point is to make yourself more healthy and productive. If you hate the way you look, you're not setting a good example for your children or family. They will follow you and it leads to a never ending evil cycle. If you are in a situation where you are unable to wake up early in the morning, then maybe you should find a way to, um, to do so after a few days, you will be used to the morning and you will start to enjoy it. The first day is always the hardest. Uh, didn't really get into uh, losing um, uh, how to lose weight and gain muscle. Well, actually, but it did answer kind of how to stay motivated. And it talked about how your schedule is important, right? Should not start a diet unless you decide to be on it forever. You need to learn. So lifestyle right there. It takes a lot of motivation and determination to lose weight. So the first thing you need to do is to be really motivated. Here are a few ways. So you would probably take this in combination we're just going to go with these three right here. So they're not amazing. Um, but I mean, you're getting a lot of content right there, which is good, but I don't know if it directly answered the question over here. You're only getting one result. I wonder why they only do one result here. Uh, how do I motivate myself to lose weight? Um, there are a few things you can do to motivate yourself to lose weight. First, set realistic goals and make a plan to achieve them. Second, find an ex exercise routine that you enjoy and stick with it. Third, find a support group. This one is way better than the other ones. So yes, word hero wins one. 
Um, you've got the three right here. Um, this one is a way better answer. Um, I'm going to say right for me one more time. And you can see right here, there's a few things you need to do to lose weight. Set realistic goals. Did it set realistic goals? There we go. Um, one way to motivate yourself. Set realistic goals to track your progress. For example, if you want to lose 10 pounds. All right. So it's, it is sticking on the realistic goal thing, but it is creating a new answer every time. And so far, every single one of these answers in Cora answers in Word Hero is better. So we're going to go ahead and give Cora answers to Word Hero. Yay for Word Hero to win one. Okay. So now we're going to move on to the long form content. Before I do that, um, we're going to go, yeah, let's go and do the long form content. Okay. So we're going to go into pepper type. We're going to go to home and we are going to use the notepad, um, how to lose weight and gain muscle. And so what we're going to do is we're going to, we already have our topic. We already have our, so I'm going to go into the notes. And I'm going to throw in our, um, our title of the article and we can make that an H1. Then what we need in here is an intro to this. So I'm going to take this. We're going to go into a blog intro and we're going to say create content and this, while it's doing that, we're going to go and open up the notes now. So this is where you open that note uh, button and then it kind of integrates inside, which is super cool. And, uh, once you use it for a while, you actually start kind of, um, kind of enjoying it. Um, it's super fast too. I like pepper type. It's very slick and very fast and it's very clean interface. So those are some good things to say about pepper type. Um, so I mean, it, it's, it's good content. Uh, definitely pepper type I think is one of the best as far as the, the quality of the output. We're going to just copy that. We're going to throw this in here. And now what we need to do is click back over here and now we need an outline. So we're going to go over to blog outline. Okay. So we have that, we have our blog topic and I wish that it would keep the blog topic in there, but it's not create content, top ways to lose weight and gain muscle. So it's going to go out there. It could do a listicle, it could do whatever. We're going to write to where we get a couple of these and then we'll move into word uh, hero instead of bouncing back and forth um, on this exact segment. We're going to just write. Examine your personal health history. Um, and this one gave us a conclusion down here. So we can just go with that one's not very good. Losing weight is the easy part. That's not really. Um, so I guess we would go with just this one right here. Okay. And then what we would do is just push a return, return. And then what we do is we would grab this right here. And then we would go into the blog heading expander, which I think is the most impressive tool or one of the most impressive tools that. Oops, I needed to go back. One of the most impressive tools that PepperType offers is the blog heading expander. I need to put this in right here and then create content. So here we go. It's fast and just like that, right? So then you take this one, copy, edit details, throw the um, section heading, start eating better, and you can just follow along. Um, so this one, it, it, it only did one, right? Sometimes it, chooses. So it's, that is one uh, note worth uh, making. It would be nice if you could just say, Hey, I want three outputs every time or two outputs every time, but it's like pepper type has a mind of its own or something. So like it only gave us one here, but then sometimes it gives us more. So um, we're just going to copy that. So it would be nice if we could grab it and get more uh, outputs, right? So we could choose from at least two or three outputs each time. Like in this case, it gave us two really big ones. Just going to grab that one, track your progress, throw it in right here. And we are literally almost done with this article or blog post. And I'll just finish this up real quick. I made this um, note in my last video that pepper type needs to add in here. Uh, the amount of words that's inside of your note uh, would be nice. So if you're aiming for a word count, you could actually see how many words you have, but um, they don't have that. So, and let's see, uh, support plays a huge role in losing weight. So it's staying on topic, right? It's taking just this get support uh, topic, but it, but it knows that we're talking about uh, how to lose weight and gain muscle in the main title. And so it's staying on topic, which is super cool. It's ending with periods. Um, it just makes it very fast, the less editing you have to do. Then you can just come up here and say that these are H2s. 
h2 and just like that boom you have an article of course we need a conclusion and inside of here uh, you probably would just go like this and you would go blog conclusion and you would need to put in the blog topic again because it's a new module that we're not using um, advanced options no and we'll just say create content i'm going to come through here and just say conclusion and we will stay with we hope you enjoyed share your blog good stuff boom make this the h2 so you have your nice blog post i'm going to say control a and control c i'm going to open up uh, we're just going to go do word count and we're at 765 words and that took us about five minutes or so super super cool uh, good article so that's how that works we're going to go into word hero now and what you would actually do is go into the long form editor here right and it's going to be a little bit different now we can use all the modules on the left hand side similar to what we did but i'm going to um, we're going to go with word hero and use it the way that i use it and the way that it should be used if you're using the um, the long form editor if you have that unlocked then it is going to be an advantage so we're going to go and grab our title here we're going to throw that in i'm just going to capitalize the first word there then we're going to highlight that and we're going to say um, blog intro and just push that blog intro button and then word hero is going to go start writing for us in order to lose weight and gain muscle you need a combination of a healthy diet and exercise diet is key to losing weight because you need to create a caloric deficit in order to burn fat you can do this by eating lean protein fruits and vegetables and avoiding processed foods and sugary drinks exercise is important so it actually is talking about exercise right here it's talking about diet it did a really really good job at staying on topic and actually talking about both so that's cool so now we're going to go in here and we're going to grab this right here we're going to go into blog outlines and just before i um push the button i'm going to say that i haven't been impressed with blog outlines inside of word hero which i think are something that um, needs improvements like right here this is just not a good um, blog outline I usually when i'm using word hero i love how it just continues to write for me for you and you can push the write more button and it just keeps going and going which is awesome but it's not good at creating outlines it's just not um so you have calories diet training supplements um it just it it needs a little bit more there and we can keep pushing uh trying this again but it's not going to really give us much better results but here's what i'm going to do we are going to use what we have so we have um, we don't need the introduction because we already have one so i'm going to come back up here and then i'm going to say calories um, to lose weight um, diet choose a specific diet to stay on track and lose weight um, training and exercise um, to lose weight supplements can help you lose weight so i'm doing this myself and i wish the tool would do it for me but um but nonetheless okay so now we're out calories uh to lose weight i'm going to go and push the rocket button uh, you can use the right more as well so calories to lose weight in order to lose weight you need to consume fewer calories that you burn now, this can be difficult if you're trying to lose weight and gain muscle mass at the same time however and then you can click right here and you can say write more and it should start writing more right there and you can notice up here in the top right hand corner we have 172 words um, there we go nutrition is a building block okay and then we're going to come here and go with the rocket button and it should say something about choosing a specific diet it can be hard to stay on track with a diet especially when they're are so many different ones to choose from but if you choose uh, want to lose weight and gain muscle you need to pick a specific diet and stick to it in this article we'll discuss how so that part right there we'll just say um, well we'll just say here are some tips on how to choose the right diet and boom okay so it's talking about protein now which is good and we can keep going but we're going to go like this and that's one of the things uh, i had heard from one of you left a comment that uh, word hero was supposed to get faster uh, with the long form editor um, this is definitely not any faster 
Um, it seems like it's going slow, but it is staying on point and on topic. And that's the most important part uh, in my opinion. But yes, it is. Uh, it, it, like if you compared this to Jasper, Jasper is 10 times faster and still stays on point. But Word Hero nonetheless is really, really good and is staying on track. Supplements. However, supplements can help you lose weight. There are many different uh, supplements available. And then when you need more content, you can literally just put the cursor and push right more under each one of these, which that's what we're going to do. So as you can see right here, uh, the cool thing about Word Hero is that you literally just push a button. Once you have this set up, wherever you get your outline from, all you have to do is just push the rocket button or the write more button. And it's really just going to go out and write as much content as you want. And it does a, a, a good job at staying on point. It's still talking about calories right here, calories. And it's just, uh, uh, you don't know what it's going to write, but this is what uh, even separates us from like brain work. I'll probably do a comparison. Um, because that's one thing I don't like about brain work is that you're not able to come in here and brain work and just put the cursor here and just say, Hey, write more based on this right here, this, uh, paragraph, write me some more content. Well, this AI word hero, this is one of the best tools at doing this uh, that I've seen on the market. And so we have 645 words. Let's go with a conclusion. I'm not sure what we're going to say, um, for conclusion, we could come up here and look for the blog conclusion and you can use the module over here. So we have 727 words. Um, probably took the same amount of time, might've taken just a little bit longer, even because a word hero is slower. Um, but it's uh, going to be, it's still quality, right? So that's the most important part. Then you can come through here and you can do your, uh, H2s. So now you have your H2s, you have your content, um, and that's how word hero works and you can just keep going. So, um, all in all, I mean, this is a, this is really a, a tough one because, uh, pepper type, it was just super smooth and stayed on point. And, and it was, it, even though you're doing the copy and paste method, I think that pepper type might've been a little bit faster and produced, um, 765 words. Um, word hero is one of those ones that the biggest feature about word hero is that you can, that uh, pepper type just doesn't have the ability at all inside their tool anywhere is to be able to click a button or put your cursor here and just literally push write more and basically force the application to continue writing for you. If you don't want to write at all, it goes out and it writes more content for you. So if you sat here and actually, uh, spent 20 minutes, 25 minutes, um, I've, I have a video, go check it out. Uh, that actually shows you how I write a 4,000 word post inside a word hero. I believe it took about 40 minutes or so, something like that. So, um, this one is a really, really tough one. Leave a comment below who you think wins on this one. I really, it's just like a tie to me because word hero has the overall edge with a, the long form editor. Um, and you're able to do things that you cannot do in, in pepper type. But, um, when we look at just creating an article, uh, they both produce high quality content. I would put them, um, both at the top with the quality of output. So, I mean, I'm going to say a tie here for the, both of them for the moment, it's going to be a tie. So, I mean, if you were just adding this up, then you probably would say pepper type one, um, with all this stuff, right. But word hero, um, you just, you can't count out, um, the ability to, uh, push the right more button, which is super, super cool. And it stays on topic. It stays on point. Uh, very powerful stuff. Okay. So those are my scores there. I'm going to give the long form. Um, but I mean, if you're, if you were just going to say, well, who has the, if you were just comparing, comparing, comparing the long form editor of the two. So this one right here, this little notepad thing that you get, right. If you were just going to compare this, um, even a better look at it would be if I push home and then come into notes. I mean, if you were going to compare just this right here, uh, versus this whole thing right here, then, um, this long form editor, uh, wins right here, word hero. But if you're going to, uh, measure the way that we create a long form blog post with both, then I would have to give it a tie. If that makes sense. I hope that makes sense to you guys. 
All right, so a couple other worth noting things is that uh, the noteworthy unique modules that uh, Word Hero has, right, is Word Hero has listicles, um, song lyrics, cover letters, poems, FAQs, food recipes, fictional story ideas, HSO copywriting formula. Um, again, uh, PepperType has 39 modules and Word Hero has 59 modules. Um, the HSO copywriting, I want to go back over to home, just push save right here for fun. And I'm going to go to home inside of Word Hero and they have the right here, HSO copywriting. I haven't seen this one before. What is the product about? We're going to put the ebook in here and just see what this is. It's supposed to give us a hook story and offer for a product. If you want to lose weight, gain muscle, and get healthy in just 28 days, this ebook is for you, is the hook. Um, I used to be overweight and had no energy. Now I'm lean, strong, and full of energy. My name is John Doe. And then your call to action, uh, which is, or they offer, get my book for free today. So um, pretty cool idea there. Uh, another framework, if you will, uh, that I haven't seen in any other, using stories in the middle to uh, sell. And then the food recipe, I wanted to show that one, and then we will close this video up. Miscellaneous food recipes, and I had one in here, um, chicken pizza, right for me. Ingredients, uh, one pizza crust, one pound of chicken breast, and just keeps going down here, right? Instructions, preheat your oven to 350 Fahrenheit, and so forth. So you have a, literally a recipe. You could create recipe eBooks. Uh, this is something that we didn't think a year ago, we didn't think we could do uh, AI recipes, but you can inside of Word Hero, and I haven't seen this in any other other ones. So that's super unique about Word Hero. Uh, song lyrics, super cool. Don't have time to show you that. But one other thing that I want to uh, show is this brand new one that actually uh, we didn't look at, which is a blog paragraph. Um, so I'm going to come through here. The short description. I'm going to take start eating better as the um, topic. And we'll just put that in there, right? So blog paragraphs, this is in beta. Uh, there are a lot of benefits to eating better. When you start eating better, you'll feel more energetic. So right here, you could write full blog posts in the same style that we were doing over here with the blog heading expander in pepper type. You can um, actually word hero has added their own blog paragraph in here. And it seems like you're getting really good content right here. The best ways to start eating better is gradually making smart, uh, small changes. So overall, that's a super unique uh, feature um, to Word uh, Hero. Uh, I mean, they're matching what PepperType's doing. So, I mean, Word Hero really is uh, robust and diverse and has a lot of different things you can do in it. PepperType is super crisp, clean, fast, and um, overall just uh, very, very good quality output. So I really can't... Uh, I know I'm going to get a lot of questions like, well, which one's better? Well, I just did a 45 minute video for you guys. You saw exactly what you can do inside these tools. And it's really hard for me to say which one is better than the other. I really, it's too close to call. This would be, this is just too close to call. To call. They both went the distance. They both went five rounds and I really cannot. Um, if you were going to go with the tie here, and then the three wins here, then I guess pepper type would win. But, um, but I, I'm not gonna, I don't feel comfortable saying that uh, pepper type is better than word hero, but they both are very good tools. So I don't know if that helps you. I don't, but I just, that's just how I feel. Uh, anyways, so, and here's the thing, uh, I guess I'll answer this, uh, to be completely honest. Do you need both tools? No. You do not need both tools. If you already have Word Hero, you have the unlimited, then you can just stick with that. It's totally, uh, totally awesome. And PepperType's not doing anything that's exceptionally better than Word Hero that I would go and have to buy the PepperType as well. Vice versa. If you have PepperType and you're considering Word Hero, um, then I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't probably go and get Word Hero. Um, and I think that those are the questions that you, you guys are uh, wanted answered. You don't need both of these tools. They're both very good at the top of my list and they both will write uh, full length blog posts for you and do all of your other um, content needs as well as what makes them so awesome is that you have uh, so many different modules on both platforms. So that's it for this video, very long video, uh, but I really wanted to be very detailed on this one. I will try not to be, um, do, I'll probably just pick one thing 
um, and, and focus on the blog writing on all the rest of the pepper type videos. I'm going to do pepper type versus writer and pepper type versus Jasper and so forth. Um, and I'm just going to probably focus on creating a blog post and try to keep the videos around 20 minutes. Um, this one was just full in depth because, and these two are very closely, closely related as well. Cause they do have all the modules, the short form content versus the long form content as well. So that's it. Hit that like button, make sure to subscribe to LearnWire so you don't miss out on all my tutorials and reviews and I will see you next time.